Hello. Um, I got back from the supermarket a little while ago and my husband likes a specific type of bread, but there wasn't any there. So I've decided, which I've been meaning to do for a while, I'm going to make him the five seed bread, which everybody raves about. And um, I'm just going to see if he will actually deign to have homemade bread in the future. Uh, so I'm going to get that going. The wonderful thing about homemade bread, of course, is that we're not going to be using plastic bags. Um, I have one of those um, Onya um, bags for bread. You need to let your bread cool down first. I'll see if I can grab it in a minute. And um, yeah, and you know, you, you know exactly what's in there. So here we go, five seed bread. Starting with 500 grams of water. Okay. Two teaspoons of yeast. There we go. So um, let's get this going. Two minutes 30, 37 degrees, speed two. Okay. So whilst that's uh, going, I'm just going to talk to you about the yeast. So the reason it's doing that is it's going to activate the yeast. All right. This is the brand that I use and, um, the, and it just gets stored in the freezer. Um, so yeah, just pull it out and just use it as you can. Of course, you can use fresh yeast, but it's really convenient just to have this in the freezer and just get a couple of teaspoons when you need it. Now one. I said, I, I'm not a bread maker. All right but I just follow recommendations from other bread makers. So here we are. I have the Lauka flour, but in a big bag, it's much more economical. Um, it's also recyclable, this one, um, being out of paper. And um, yeah, so I just have a big bag of this. You just store it obviously in a cool, dark place and um, use it as you need to. There are obviously other flowers. If I, if I do make bread, it's usually gluten-free. So um, I do use just a gluten-free flour. I do also have, I'll just grab it. From a lovely lady called Yoki. From wild sourdough. This is the gluten-free flour that I usually do use. Um, I did find, I did make a pizza base with it. I did find it needed a little bit more water, but um, I use that in my baking, all my baking. Um, it's FODMAP friendly, it's gluten free, it's basically allergy friendly. So um, look up wild sourdough. It's not cheap, but it is, um, it's a really good quality flour. It's milled in Melbourne. Uh, Yoke is actually based in, um, in Perth. But look up uh, Wild Sourdough on Facebook and you'll find her. And obviously you can Google and order the flour. Okay, put that away. Now, this is the other thing I'm going to show you. This is the bread bag. So you can get these from the mix shop and um, they're just a reusable, just a, I don't know what sort of fabric, but anyway. Uh, yeah, Anya reusable. I think it's Anya. It's Anya. O N Y A. Reusable bag, based in WA, but um, but they look really good. So you could also, of course, take one of these to the bread shop and get them to put that in there if you're buying some bread from there. Okay, let's keep going. I've done my life. So. I know this is an incentive. It's one of the ones from the mix shop. And what I've tried to do, I haven't done a very good job on the side, but I have oiled it. It has a lid, so I'm going to put that on to make it square so it's nice and square for his toast. <laughs> um, and I have put some seeds. I've oiled it and I've put a few seeds. They've mainly landed on the bottom. I'm, I have to do a little bit more work on the getting it right for the sides as well. But I've got some um, hemp seeds, some sesame seeds, and some linseeds in there. 
I'm going to add 500 grams of my baker's flour. Obviously, going to be a third. Oops. Tear that first, Mandy. That would make much more sense. Here we go. Oh, look. One teaspoon of salt. That's what I didn't get out. Okay, now we're going to add in a whole lot of other bits and pieces. So rolled oats, these are actually gluten free oats. Thirty grams of sesame seeds. I had two containers of these, so okay. Whoops. Thirty grams of linseed. Linseed's apparently very good for women's health too. By the way. Sunflower seeds. Oops, it's pretty quick. And pepitas or pumpkin seeds. Oh, poppy seeds. Make sure these are, yeah, they're poppy seeds, not mustard seeds. That's a tea loaf, isn't it? Five seeds, that's why. 30 grams of honey. Right, now this honey is actually delicious. We bought this driving up the Hume Highway um, out of Melbourne. There's a, um, just a, you know, a service place there and they had a stall and they had this honey there. And I'm not, well, it's growing on me, this honey, but we not, try and buy it that way. It's a lot cheaper too, buying a whole heap. Yeah, buying it in bulk and buying it, you know, it's you know it's good quality honey. So we buy most of it. We bought I don't know how many kilos, probably about nine kilos, um, at a little place uh, in East Gippsland on the way to our favourite camping spot. Um, it's, it's a really cute little. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. But it's a really cute place. That honey's so good. 30 grams of olive oil. Yeah, they've got this little, this little um, stall on the side of the road and it just, it's got bees all over it and it's, it's really cute. Okay, let's pop the lid on. I'm gonna need now for two minutes 30 and in that time, I'm gonna find out the name of that honey place. Wombat honey, a tostarine. Um, so it's past, um, I think it's past, I can't think it was this side or the other side of Ben, I think it's the other side of Bairnsdale, near Cabbage Patch, something like that. Anyway, it's beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to look at the preview. So we'll have a wet and sticky consistency. Sorry, you're getting a bit of sunshine now, which is nice after a big storm. Preheat my oven. I'm going to put the dough in a prepared tin and sprinkle with extra seeds and leave it to proof to 40, for 45 or six to 60 minutes. And then bake for 40, 45 minutes. So as it's not exactly boiling hot here, 
I'm going to boil a kettle. I'm going to pop it in, um, pop some boiling water into a thermo server, an oval thermo server. I'm going to pop my mixture into the tin, and um, I'm going to leave it in this in this place where hopefully it's getting a bit of sunshine as well, so it will start to rise. Um, so that's how I'm going to do it on a cold day. That's what you do, thermo server. Um, you can. So it, or, or just the warm space. I mean, if you've you know got a heater on or something like that, you can put it near that. If you're obviously in the tropics, you don't need to worry about that. All right. So we'll go back to the recipe here. 50 seconds left. And I'd love any comments from any of you about what breads you've made. So this is the one that I think will appeal to my husband most because it's very seedy. Um, but if there's anything that you think is an absolute wow, please pop it in comments. Right. Put my jars away. I've got a really eclectic collection of jars up here. So, they all go away. They're all just different. Whatever I had to put things in. So I know that would probably drive some people around the bend. It has to be all the same, but I'm just using up what I have. So, oh, here we go. Yeah, there's the dough. It is a bit runny, you see that? Reheat the oven, put it into its prepared tin. So I've got my tin here. Chilla. Malting today. Okay, in we go. Look at all those seeds all the way through. It looks amazing. And obviously I'm going to show you this, but just have a think if you know how to clean the blades before I actually do it. You can see all that dough left around there, and I want to get that dough into this tin as well. So, do you know how to do it? Let me show you. All right. I'm going to save my recipe back there. And of course, it's turbo. Favorite mode. into the recipe. Look at that totally clean blades, much more mixture to bring out. Oh, by the way, um, I am pushing my thermomix, but it is on something, so it is sliding. It is not, I'm not pushing the, not sliding it with um, the, on the scales, on the feet. That's what I'm trying to say. I haven't got very good words this morning. It's been a very big week, I'll tell you. Um, and um, the brain's a bit fried. A little bit more out. All right, so I'm going to put that on dose, you know, on a dose cycle to um, prove. Oh, sorry, to prove. See, I told you my brain is totally gone. I am going to put that on the dough wash cycle to wash out the um, the bowl. Uh, I'm going to put this here on a thermo server with hot water in it. I'm going to put its lid on. I have seeds everywhere before that happens because there are some on the top here. So I will get a nice. Oh, that one's the other way around. Hold on. Two ways around for this. Doesn't look like it. I haven't used it before. That's tricky. I'll have a play with that one. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bake that, leave it for about 45 minutes to rise. I'm going to bake it for 45 minutes and um, hopefully it looks stunning and I'll take a picture. Bye.